We already know from going through the input command tutorials that we can import Esri ASCII grid files, but we can also export them. The Esri ASCII grid file format usually has the file extension ASC. We choose a file name and we define our cell size, so that's meters on the ground in this case. And because the Esri ASCII grid format can only be defined by a rectangle, then if we chose entire survey, the rectangle would include areas that lie outside of the extent of the current DTM. As a result, there will be points in these areas, but they will be given a null data value, which means that when they're imported, they won't be included as points. Alternatively, we can define a rectangle by defining the lower left and upper right. We'll go to entire survey. OK, we'll create that grid and you can see there are points that extend right to the edge and points that are outside of the current DTM. What we could do is import and convert that back from Esri ASCII grid to generate an LSS survey. However, this would not be the recommended route to take if all you wanted to do was create a square grid of interpolated terrain points from an LSS survey you would choose the output square grid command and that would miss out one extra stage. However, if you've been asked for an Esri ASCII grid file, then this would be the route to take. And if we look at the contents of that file, it's useful to become familiar with this format. Because it's a rectangle, it has a nominated number of columns and rows, which at that cell size and those bottom left hand corner coordinates define the geographical location and extent of this data set. The no data value represents the value within the data set which means there is no data. So whenever it sees minus four nines there will not be a point imported. And then what follows for every row and column will be at a 10 meter center a Z value and that's all this file contains is a Z value.